Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. Let me take y'all into the team that Maserati Grit created. Name and all, best friends. This is all the Maserati Rick creation. He loved the theatrics. You see, they had imaginations. Demetrius faked his death. That lets you know the type of imagination these brothers had. So let me tell you Maserati Rick's best friend hit team. They were weed sellers when they started. When Maserati picked them up off the sideline, they were weed sellers and going to jail for selling weed. They was catching weed cases going to jail for selling weed when Maserati Rick picked them up. Let me give it to you, and I want to say something else to you all. Art and life runs the same. Understand art and life. Life is art and art is life. Understand that and what I mean by that. One of the best friends' name was Wizard Brown. Another one of the best friends' names, and this is in 1982, long before power ever came on TV. Georgia, Giorgio Ghost. One of their names was Giorgio Brown, and he called himself Ghost. This is 1982, long before power ever came on the air. Just to give you an idea where Ghost character may have come from. It may have been Giorgio's best friend because he called himself Ghost and did a lot of killing in 1982 under the name Ghost. That was one of the Brown brothers named Ghost. Think about it for yourself. Interesting fact on art and life where Ghost came from. 1982, Ghost Brown. Understand this. Another one was named Reginald Brown, which you all would know as Rock and Reg. And the other one would be Terrence Boogaloo Brown. All of y'all know him as Boogaloo. Understand that's the name of the Brown brothers, street name and real names. And I'm just showing you how art imitates life. Where ghosts could have really come from, it could have been Georgie O. Brown, better known as Ghost. Understand where Ghost really could have came from. The best friends show enough killers out in the city of Detroit for Maserati Rick Carter and Demetrius Holloway. They had a ghost. Understand that. And that's long before Ghost came on TV power. Best friends was before him. So what I want to break down to you all about the best friends, they were a hit team specially formed by Maserati Rick and Demetrius Holloway. Maserati Rick loved the theatrics. So he had to have the best friends, his bodyguards, his chauffeur. They used to chauffeur him home, chauffeur him for home to the car wash, all the theatrics. And he's beefing all the while in the street with quite a few guys. Understand that, and I'm going to tell you about one that the Brown brothers killed that you all might know. His name was Freakin' Steve. He was in the White Boy Rick movie. You might know that one Freakin' Steve that was in the White Boy Rick movie. Well, the Browns are the one responsible for killing that Freakin' Steve. Understand that the Brown brothers took Freakin' Steve out. The same one you see in that famous limousine with white boy Rick talking about Freaky Steve. Well, the brown boy's best friends killed that Freaky Steve for real. Understand when they went on a killing binge, how it really got started. Once Maserati Rick introduced them to the connect, which was his fatal mistake to ever take them to the connect because he was mad at the man at Demetrius, when the niggas in the street asked him, whose baby was it, his or Demetrius? That sent Maserati Rick in a frenzy. Fuck Demetrius, far as Maserati felt at that time. Understand how he felt after the niggas in the street asked him, 
whose baby was it? He is a Demetrius. And at that time, he brought the best friends even closer to him. So much so, everywhere he went, he had to have them with him, which was a mistake. So when he go, the cop from the connect, he's got all them with him. Those are his bodyguards and chauffeurs. So he takes the best friends with him where he shouldn't have took them. Understand how it was done before they split. The package would be dropped at the 19th hole. Him and D would go by there, break it up, and split it up. Understand how it was done at the 19th hole. That is where it mostly came in at. After the split between Maserati and Demetrius Holloway, Maserati went his own way. Never seen him at the 19th hole ever again after the split between him and Demetrius. You would never see him go to the 19th hole ever again. Understand that he went to the best friends and had them start protecting him and taking him to pick up the package and bring the package back and let them get in on the act, which was the mis biggest mistake of Maserati Rick's life is when he took the best friends with him to the connect to pick up the package. Now you taking these niggas with you to pick up a hundred or a thousand keys. These niggas is watering at the mouth. They ain't never sold nothing but weed. They've never really had no money. They doing hits for you. That's what they are. They are weed hit me. Not because you and Demetrius didn't fell out. Here you go, putting them in a position you never should have. Now they're your 24 hour chauffeur and bodyguard. Round the clock, they with him. Take him home, bring him back to work. This is where he put himself with the best friends after him and Demetrius fell out. And meanwhile, Demetrius is seeing what's going on and getting it together to plan demise of the best friends. So you all have to understand throughout this story, all of them wind up losing their life, including Rock and Rage, who is sitting in cold water, Michigan, right now with a life sentence. Understand where Rock and Rage turns Rock and Reginald Brown is sitting right now in a state penitentiary cold water for the rest of his life for countless numbers of killing. As I told y'all, they killed freaking Steve that was in the White Boy Rick movie. The best friends is responsible for his death. Understanding that and a whole lot more. But this was the key to the whole story. Once Demetrius came back into town, he had put together a hit team just to hit the best friends. That's why they left out of town, because they know when Demetrius came back into town, he was coming into town especially for them. So they ran out of town at this point. But the mistake of that was they had his plant with them, and they was going to all his old spots. The spot they was going to out of town was his and Maserati Rick's old spot. So Demetrius knew the spot better than they did. That's the truth. All the places you see they went out of town, Kentucky, all of those were Maserati Rick and Demetrius Holloway spots. I told y'all, Maserati Rick had more of the clientele than Demetrius all across the country. I'm not, I told y'all, that amount of work, 2,000 keys a month, Detroit can't handle it they had to slang all across the country. Demetrius was living in Indiana after he faked his death. They had spots in Indiana, spots in Kentucky, all across the Midwest. Them boys had spots everywhere, and the brown boys is in their spots. So D is on his way out of town to make a house call. And that's when he slipped up and let world called him down at the Broadway and made a house call. Understand what Demetrius was doing at the time he got killed. He was planning their demise out of town. Imagine this. 
He felt so comfortable shopping at the Broadway because he always had a plant with them. He always knew where they was. The plant would call him every day. D, we down here, this, that, that. Whenever he ready to put it together, come down there and kill them niggas is what the plan was. Demetrius knew where the brown boys was at all times. That's why he felt so comfortable going down to the Broadway, not realizing world is tracking you. World has put a plan a plan in place just for you at the Broadway when you running down there to get shot and styling and profiling. That is where world set his plan up to get you. Because as I told y'all before, he had no fear of the best friends. He got a plant with him. He know where they at all the time. So he know they ain't in Detroit. He feel free to do anything he wants in Detroit. Slipping, forgetting, world is waiting on that ass. Understand what he slipped and fell and forgot. Understand he could handle the brown boys all day. The best friends was easy work for him. World was the one he couldn't touch. World is in jail with a life sentence. How you gonna get to him? He's surrounded by sissies. He's got a crew. When world go into the shower, the motherfucking sissies is protecting that. You can't just walk in the shower when he's in the shower. You got to come through him. He's got a real crew in the penitentiary. And like I told y'all before, if it ain't the shoppers or Mobites, you can forget fucking with him. It ain't no way possible a nigga on the streets is going to hit him. You got to be in the penitentiary and get close up personal to do such a job. So Demetrius got too comfortable on the streets, taking the world too lightly, thinking world wasn't going to reach out and get him. And world reached right out and ate him up. Dinner. Subscribe, share it, like. Just telling you how it was, how you can get over cocky because you got someone planted in with the best friend and you know you finna go kill them. Then you think you are gonna kill Big Ed and you got the streets all to yourself. You own the city of Detroit, Indiana, all the places you had. Once you kill them other two brown boys, you got it all back. The only other one left is Big Ed Hanson, because MGM Grand Casino was already in jail. So Demetrius thought he was on his way back to the top of the kingdom, having the city of Detroit all to himself, not realizing world had another place.